Hey Airsofters, Taz Bidona here with a gear loadout video. I know you guys have been questing this for a long time and I've been kind of slacking, but finally I put everything together that I needed and I got my uh, wonderful cameraman here to actually shoot this video for me. Uh, I want to show you guys my Milson West loadout and it's completely different from my AMS loadout uh, simply because of the AOs and how long or uh, what I need to survive out in the field and everything. So I'm going to show you guys for my uniform. I'll be wearing the Cry uh, G3 pants with the Cry AC field top. Uh, the pants is a combat uh, pants and the top is a field shirt. I also have my combat shirt with me in case I need to switch out. They do say uh, they recommend having spare clothing with you in the event that you get wet and you uh, get cold and hypothermia and all that. So I am going to have both uh, tops just to switch out just in case. I'm going to show you guys my uh, chest rig first which is the Mayflower UW Generation 4 chest rig. Alright guys right here is the Mayflower UW Generation 4 chest rig in multicam. This is my primary chest rig that I'll be using for Milsim West. Up front I have four magazines. I also have my V-Light red strobe up here for night games in case I die. I got my speed loader right here. Two extra pouches, we don't have anything in there yet, but uh, we'll figure out something. I also have uh, two IR cam lights with me in this pouch. The side pouch, I also have another magazine. Oh. For radio, I have the tri prick 152 with a U94 PTT. Uh, ghetto rig right now because I forgot my rubber bands. And I also have a uh, cat, which is more, for, for, uh, more so for looks, but we also use it in case of emergencies of anything. This is a very nice chest rig and I do recommend uh, this chest rig for anyone who's going for a very light uh, rig. Uh, definitely a lot lighter compared to my CPC. For our first line I have the Cry Modular Rigger Belt also known as the MRB. Uh, this is a very nice sturdy belt, very lightweight compared to what I normally use was, uh, which was a uh, low profile belt. Uh, for the internal belt I went ahead and replaced it with a Cobra belt. It's a lot more sturdy, easier to take off as well. On the sides I have the LBT 40 mic mic pouches. I normally like to run as a grenadier, or would like to. I have the uh, ITW fast mag for a single mag. Dump pouch is the Endum uh, dump pouch in Coyote Brown. I love this dump pouch. I highly recommend it. I've still I've been using this for a while and it hasn't failed me once. And the back is also uh, a Blue Force Gear Boo Boo pouch, which I normally use for uh, American Milstem. It contains my Ace bandages, but I can then, I can go ahead and replace that with some uh, simple medical supplies, uh, which would probably happen for uh, Milstem West. For my headgear, I've been running my uh, trusty Cry airframe. I've been using this for well over a year now. And this is a great setup. Uh, for the outside, I have the Cry airframe cover and multicam. For air protection, I have the uh, Peltor Comtech 3, which are also great for com uh, communication, but also protecting the ear, especially during the immersion uh, live fire exercise portion of the Milsim West where they do blank fire. For the rear, I have a counterweight pouch, an Emerson mantle strobe, uh, which does green and IR. I Oh, my apologies, red and IR. I chose this over the real one because the real one does green and IR, which I don't really need. And I also have a blast gate pouch uh, for looks, pretty much. Up front, I also have my GoPro uh, for recording. But at night, I will have my Wilcox uh, mount with my PBS 14 Generation 3 for night operations. But, you know, for the day, we will be using my GoPro to record the majority of the uh, events. For a backpack system, I have my Tactical Taylor Malice Pack. This is a really cool rucksack and it was a lot bigger than I expected. I recently got this a few days ago and it offers, I, I'm trying to tell you guys what all it is but I'm still trying to learn it. Uh, it offers a lot of pouches here, especially on the side. We got two zipper pouches up front. We got three big pouches with uh, little straps here. Look, got some more, the, <laughs> got some more <laughs> packs right here. Uh, the reason I really like this is because it uses the Malice frame instead of the, uh, the, the frame that we normally have in our issue uh, Molly 2000 pack or the Molly 2. Uh, I like it. It's a lot better. It's a lot more lightweight. Uh, I feel it's more sturdy as well. Definitely a big pack. I recommend it. It's a little expensive. It's about $380, but it's a really good pack in my opinion. It holds a lot. This is a really, really big pack. It kind of blew me away when I unboxed it and everything and saw it. Uh, so this would be my backpack system. One. For my primary weapon, I have the North American PTW. The upper is a HAL 416 upper. Uh, normally, I would have a different upper, which would be the Block 1.5 with an M203, since I'm going to try to go as a Grenadier. But I'm going to show you guys this one. But the magazine, I had the Rampo uh, Generation 3 PMAG. The sling is a VTAC padded sling. For my rear irons, I got a Magpul MBUS Pro. The optic is an Aimpoint, Gener uh, Aimpoint Comp M2 with a Wilcox mount. An Emerson, or actually an Element uh, LA5. For a flashlight, it is the Surefire M600 Charlie with the Mad, uh, Madbull uh, CAC suppressor. The grip is a Magpul MOE. 
Uh, this is pretty much a really, this is a really we uh, good weapon. It's my favorite weapon. It's my absolute uh, favorite primary. Like I said, the upper is going to be a block 1.5 and 203 instead, but if I can't get that completed in time, I'll have the 416 instead, which is a pretty legit weapon system in my opinion. I can't wait to use out there in uh, Milsim West. Alright guys, I appreciate you watching my uh, gear loadout video for Milsim West. I will be doing an American Milsim loadout video soon, uh, which doesn't differ too much. It has my CPC on it, but I will do it anyways just for people to have a look. I appreciate you guys watching this video. This is Tactical Donut. Pop and smoke. Get the damn thing out of here. <laughs>